ser feliz nunca me ha salido caro uh, ahora veo todo caro. what's up guys it's Alina and today I'm going to be doing like a end of semester rejuvenation nightlife nighttime routine something like that uh, my semester ended a few days ago and I've been wanting to just chill out a little bit so I got out of work probably like three hours ago it's currently nine o'clock I'm going to take a shower do a face mask um moisturize my head which for me is a form of self-care um and probably drink some tea you know so it's just gonna be a really chill video um and yeah all right I'm gonna get in the shower and I will see you guys when I get out all right so today's mask is brought to you by essentially hey toast this company i've talked about it a little bit on my channel this is the essentially hey toast hello sunshine antioxidant clay mask this brand is the only brand of face mask that i use i have never used anything else um their products are 100 percent natural sensitive um suitable for all skin types i absolutely love this mask this one in particular is my favorite. Alright, I put a little bit more on the one side than I did on the other, but it's okay. I usually like to keep this on for i think like the the amount that you're supposed to is supposed to be like 30 minutes but you can keep it on for longer since it is natural products nothing's gonna happen if you leave it on i'm gonna leave this on for probably about 40 minutes to an hour it just depends how i'm feeling and then i'll rinse it off but i do have a code for essentially hados if you do want to try their products they also sell um body scrubs um face masks um, they have a whole men's line as well now too. So if you want to use my code Lena15, you'll get 15% off of your first purchase. So I actually have to wait a little bit for this to dry before I start doing my hair. Because if I do it while my face is still wet and I get hair on my face, I'm going to be very upset. Okay, so it's been about 25 minutes. My face is literally already the whole way dry. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start my routine for my hair i got my hair done i want to say like a little over a week ago it was like a week and a half almost two weeks but i try to do this routine on a weekly basis sometimes i forget but today i'm going to do it as part of my self-care so i'm going to just show you guys all the products that i've used so i'm going to start with the oils this was the one that i had first this is the Luster's Pink Natural Oil Blends. It's a lush growth oil that has castor, tea tree, clary sage, rosemary, coconut, sweet almond, lavender oils, and vitamin E. This is another one that I just purchased from Target. This is the Carol's Daughter Goddess Strength uh, 7 Oil Blend Hair and Scalp Oil for Weak Breakage Prone Hair with castor oil and black cumin seed. So this is the one that I'm going to use today. And then for the moisturizers, this is the one that I used to use. It's also almost empty. This is the Olive Miracle African Pride Maximum Strength Strengthening Moisturizer Lotion. And so since I ran out of that one, I don't remember where I bought it from. So I just went and I bought another one of these, a different one from Target. This is the Olive Oil Incredibly Rich Oil Moisturizing Hair Lotion Infused with Castor Oil for Strengthening. So... I'm gonna run this through my hair first. I usually go straight back, do these first, and then I do the horizontal ones. And then I'm gonna go through with this, same thing. And while I'm doing this, I'm going to go on my YouTube. I usually, when I'm doing this, I like to FaceTime people, I like to watch videos, I like to watch Netflix, I like to listen to music. So today, my activity of choice is going to be YouTube. When I watch Asleya Williams, she is my favorite YouTuber of all time. Like, 10 out of 10 recommend if you don't watch her. And if you catch me saying babes, it's her fault. I like 
that this one is a lot thicker than the other one that I used to use, the African Pride one. That one is actually pretty watery. This one is like very, very thick, which I like a lot actually. So I just finished doing everything back uh, vertically, if that makes sense. So now I'm going to do it horizontal, but I'm looking at the time and I think I should take off this face mask before I do the rest of it. So I think I'm going to do that. Okay, so I'm about ready to rinse this out. One thing about this mask that you want to make sure is that um, it does kind of like have little, I don't know what these are called, like kind of like flakes. So you want to rub those in because it's kind of like a physical exfoliator too once it dries up. So as you're like rinsing it off, you want to like rinse it a little bit, rub it in, and then rinse it the whole way off if that makes sense. So I'm going to like see if I can demonstrate this a little bit here. I'm just using some warm water. I'm going to wet the side of my face a little bit. This is what I do first. So you see that it's starting to bubble up a little bit. So that's what I do before I rinse it the whole way off. So I'm going to rinse the rest of it off. And then I'll get back to you guys once I'm going to do the rest of my routine. Alright. So I just finished rinsing off my face. I'm going to take the tissue. Using a tissue, in my opinion, is a little better. Especially when your face, when you're trying to keep it like clean, clean. Towels, they like absorb a lot of bacteria and then you put those germs on your clean face that you just took the mask off so i like to dab this these two products is basically what i use on a daily basis like it does not matter what i'm doing with my skin this is always what i do to follow up so this is the ordinary hyaluronic acid with b5 vitamin b5 and then i also have the vanity cream moisturizing cream that i used earlier Oops. Okay, so what I do for this, just fill this up a little bit. Three dots is usually plenty for my whole face. So I rub this in. This is really safe to put all over your face and even me that I have dermatitis like around my mouth and on my eyelids. This kind of helps to lock in the moisture in those areas as well. And then I'm just gonna put some moisturizing cream the cream is obviously thicker than a lotion. Okay. So the next thing that I wanted to do was use a lip scrub. So this is a pina colada lip scrub from Gold Lux Beauty. I actually love this stuff and I also have this in coconut. So what I'm going to do quick with this, all that I do is I let my lips just a little bit you take some of the scrub okay <clears throat> so that's that i'm gonna put a little bit of vaseline on my lips before i forget i'm also gonna get a lighter so i can light a candle i think this will also help the calming mood that i'm attempting to put myself in So this is from White Barn. It's called Slay All Day. It just smells like... This lighter is a little scary if you ask me. It's like a little gas one instead of it like having the little, you know, the one that looks like that. It's like a gas lighter. It kind of scares me. So I'm going to go ahead, start off by doing the front. I do literally the exact same thing this way that I do with the other one. So you start here, then you go back to the next line, next line, and so forth. So the last thing that I'm going to do is I'm gonna put some mousse in my hair because for some reason 
it's been getting really frizzy. I haven't had it in for that long and it doesn't usually do this. I don't know if you can see that they're like, they're really bad. So I'm going to spray some of this um, black seed oil and aloe moisturizing braid spray. And then I'm going to put some mousse on it over top of it. So this, I think it smells really good. It's just like a really nice refreshing spray. You know what? I have a song from TikTok stuck in my head. What's the one that is like, I'm a ghost. Mm, 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 mm. Do you know what I'm talking about? I have that one stuck in my head. <sighs> too much TikTok, man. Too much TikTok. But this is the Lot of Body Wrap Me Foaming Mousse. I actually just got another bottle of this today. So I'm just going to put this everywhere. Hopefully that helps a little bit with the frizz. This, I think the other reason why I might have started to get frizzy was because I didn't use this. I usually like to use this like for at least the first week until the hair gets kind of hard is what I say about it. Because when the hair comes out of the pack, it's usually really soft. So it gets stuck on things and it's really frizzy. So I am done. My hair is nice and refreshed, all hydrated. So now I said that I was gonna drink some tea, but I'm actually hungry. So I don't think I'm gonna drink tea and I think I'm gonna eat Chipotle instead. So let me see what I can do about that. Okay, so earlier I got Chipotle. I ate like a little more than half of it. So I'm going to, I think, Chipotle honestly tastes pretty bad when you microwave it, but I don't really have a choice. So this is what I get. Oh my gosh, wait. I want to show you now that I'm downstairs. I want to show you guys the Christmas tree. I think I'm actually going to vlog a little bit on Christmas morning. But this is our tree. We, we have stacked up on presents everywhere the whole way around the tree there's some in the back and then they just added this cute little thing of my baby look at him i bought a lot of different presents this year i bought presents for my family my boyfriend's family and i'm just really excited like gifting for me is superior i love it i kind of made my chipotle well, he didn't really put that much meat on it, which is kind of triggering because Chipotle, like, if you have, like, a bite that only has cheese and rice, it's, <laughs> it's really too late for me to be eating this Chipotle. It's actually about to be 11 o'clock, but, <clears throat> okay, so I think I'm done. Um, there's no more carne asada, and I really, as I just expressed, I don't, woo, woo. I really don't like eating this without meat. It just tastes funny. So I'm just going to leave it like that. I also think I'm going to go ahead and end this vlog. The only thing that I'm going to do, it's already 11 o'clock. So I'm probably just going to watch either like a movie or a show because I have to work tomorrow at 11. So I can't go to sleep super late either. So with that being said, thank you guys for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. Comment down below what's next and subscribe to my channel. Subscribe button down below along with all of my social media links, my Instagram, my Twitter, my Spotify, and my VSCO. And I will see you guys next week.